Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're doing the 30 day extended European outlook for today's second video. This is your 30 day slash 42 day uh, European outlook. I shall get to that for you in a moment. Just to say that first, video is our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast is going to be live at 6 p.m. With your uh, 10 to 14 day live stream, it's going to be absolutely epic. Then straight after that, we've got the latest installment of a Christmas countdown to come. So, <laughs> busy old day, guys, whatever it's today. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos, content, and live streams. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you, share to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts and the data as well, by the way. Thank you so much, GC. Right, going to start off with week one. That means seal pressure are not being taken through week we're currently in. 11th to the 18th of November. So high pressure is dominating across western portions of Europe and out into the Atlantic. We've got low pressure down towards Spain and Portugal, potentially bringing more uh, pretty wet weather through there. And then low pressure into the extreme northern part of Europe, with ridge extending in towards the east. 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. Above average heights, the Atlantic into northern and west Europe, low pressure down towards Spain and Portugal, and a trough through there as well. The temperature anomalies this week are generally mild up across Scandinavia, so Denmark, Norway, Sweden. And Finland, so that's into Nordic regions, well as the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, looking relatively mild. We've got cooler or colder conditions, both through the central sway. So, uh, southern parts of the UK include Wales down into France, and then east was into southern Germany and on in towards Belgium, and then southeast was down into the Balkans, etc., etc., et looking uh, quite cold through there. Into southern parts of Europe, including the the Mediterranean, so generally uh, mild or above average temperatures in the west, but cooler or colder over in the English precipitation wise. We look like this. More wet weather, I'm afraid, through southern and eastern parts and central parts of Spain and Portugal. So it uh, could be some more flooding through there, um, unfortunately. And into Greece and Turkey, wetter than average conditions as well, of course. With Upper um, mountains, excuse <coughs> me, mountainous areas of Turkey that could include some snow. Um, Italy, large job of drier than average side. I mean, going further northwards, lots of dry weather from the island, the UK, and France, and west, all the way over to eastern parts of Europe. In the east, we just see that we've got Norway and far north of Sweden with above average precipitation that could include rain and or snow through there. Right, week two will be the 18th to 25th of November. Big change as high pressure locates up towards Greenland and Iceland. We have a trough of low pressure across northern West Europe. That brings the wind around into a colder north or northeasterly. 500 millibar height anomalies looking like this. A ridge through the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. And a trough of low pressure across central and northern parts of Europe there. Temperature anomalies through week two looking coldest in the northwest. So uh, particularly through the UK and Ireland, interestingly. Number about interestingly for me, um, southern parts of France, the Low Country, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, up to Denmark and into southern parts of Sweden, Norway, colder than average through there. The extreme eastern and northeastern portion looking wider. Again, that includes a lot of the um, Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, Belarus and Ukraine, including that as well, as long, along with southwestern Russia. We've also got Finland largely with uh, slightly above average temperatures, will probably still be quite cold through there, though. Down into the Med, it uh, looks generally milder from the eastern portion of the Med, Greece, Turkey, to southern parts of Italy, perhaps near average, a little bit on the cool side, further westwards, and rainfall-wise, we look like this, or precipitation-wise, so most areas of Europe coming out uh, wetter than average, actually. Big old change uh, for next week. Above average precipitation. And, of course, as uh, the air is turning quite cold, especially in the west and the north, that could include the chance of some snow being mixed in. Down across southern parts of Europe, we're perhaps closer to average, but still some areas coming out wetter than normal. For example, Italy, Corsica, Sardinia, looking rather wetter than average there. Right, week three will be the 25th of November to the 2nd of December. Bit of a change. Heights beginning to rise to the south. So some higher pressure coming to southern and southwest Europe. Low pressure through the western portion of Europe. What about the 500 millibar heights? So we're definitely raising the heights down to the southwest. 
And that's going to try and bring milder air into uh, western portions of Europe there, I would have thought. So temperature on big change from last week of November, lifting up through uh, most parts of Europe, either average or uh, a little bit on the milder than average side. But the big change is for like western Europe, where of course starts off quite cold, and uh, the week before. And uh, precipitation wise, so still wet to an average condition from uh, France, Ireland, and the UK in the west to most eastern portions of Europe over in the east. Across southern Europe, it's driving average through much of the Mediterranean. Not too bad a week. And if you want to have a bit of wind sunshine and uh, northern parts of Scandinavia and uh, into the um, northern you see also looking uh, drier than average. Week 4 being the 2nd to the 9th of December. So uh, that week has higher pressure in the Atlantic. It doesn't show any corresponding lows, but I would imagine there will be some lows up here. So maybe just reverting to a westerly flow. The 500 millibar heights look like that. Now we could be lining things up northwest to southeast with the wind flow and jet stream possibly. Um, that might allow something a bit colder back into the northern portion of Europe. Let's have a look at temperature anomaly. So average temperatures being predicted here through these northern and western regions might allow for some colder air down into the north. Generally by although across those southern portions of Europe and precipitation wise again we see drier than average conditions in far south and southwest wetter average or slight wet temperature here. We can signal as before weeks out. Right, where's the third today? Look, you're done. Let's go for weeks five and six data before we go. So week five will be the 9th to 16th of December. Um, over that week raising the heights really through western parts of Europe. That looks like generally quite a mild pattern for uh, western Europe in particular. 500 millibar heights dominating through western Europe as well. Temperature anomaly is slightly above average in the north and west, near and normal elsewhere. And precipitation wise, very weak signal, but could be turning drier through western Europe. And then finally, week six will be the 16th to the 23rd of December. And again, no real changes. High pressure still dominating from the Atlantic into those uh, western portions of the Europe there. In particular, what about 500 millibar heights? Let's have a look at that. So, uh, again, we see plenty of ridging from the Atlantic into the north and the west of Europe. Temperature anomalies, a little bit above average in the north and west, near normal elsewhere. And precipitation wise, weak signal, but probably most areas on the drier side. Let's hope we're not going back to the anti cyclone of doom in December. We've almost all the cyclonic glue and we'll see about that obviously the main focus is like on the cold snap that's coming up uh through this week and next week and uh, then we should wait and see what happens after that if you may enjoy this extended drooping outlook please do like share and subscribe and thank you so much everyone for doing that these videos are going to continue on a wednesday for the rest of november and then in december um, we will uh, revert these back to a Tuesday. So the typical day for uh, this video is actually Tuesday. We shunted it to Wednesday uh, a couple of months ago. These videos will be moving back to a, being a Tuesday upload from the beginning of December. I think the first day of that is Tuesday the 3rd of December. I think so. And then on a Wednesday from... Uh, uh, Wednesday before the December, we're going to start doing Stratch Watch. Stratch Watch will be back at the beginning of uh, December. Right, so that's the plan. Man with a plan. <laughs> As always, is Gav. Um, right, well, you enjoy the rest of your um, Wednesday, though. I shall see you a little bit later on for our live stream. So uh, see you at 6pm if you're around the channel for that. But for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.